about how a fib starts, um, the role of the pulmonary veins for a fib and, and ablation. I know I, I went super quick Can and I ask fast. How aggressive yeah. you get when you are doing these ablations because you do have patients that. They you have know, to tie me up to the door, to the table, so I don't, like, I get so very that, mad and aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. More power, more power. Yeah. Do up. it, do it. Like, what are you looking at? <laughs> I try not to get aggressive. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Just down. Yeah, what was the question? Sorry. Um, just, you know, how do you decide how aggressive you need to be with your ablation How there are patients that do have to come that's it yeah no it's a good question it's like because <laughs> you do have patients that have multiple ablations are you just ablating different parts of the heart because you're getting both other hope yeah or sorry my dog is back to you in a second so we do both it's, it's a matter of both things so um the question is all right so you're about to burn part of the heart um be careful like how much you're gonna burn and the other thing is what is next to the heart? Because the burn, so let me draw What's this here. The atrium. Yeah, what is surrounding that? So, That's yeah, so you have the wall of the of the atria like this, right? Let's, just, let's imagine this is inside of the heart. This is the heart, this is outside. That's why I have a heart attack. So what you do is you put the catheter here. Let's, let's make it red because we're going to burn. <laughs> you put the catheter here and you send radio frequency. Radio frequency is basically, you know, as a frequency, as a wave, it starts traveling through the cells. It goes in that direction. And the way it burns is because the cells have membranes that don't want to let anything pass through them. So they're going to act as, a res as a res resistance. So the membranes are going, the cells are going to warm up trying to stop that electricity, that radio frequency um, to travel by. So it's going to cause a burn. So you're creating a burn and usually the area, the center of the burn is not at the surface, is a few millimeters deeper because that's where the highest resistance is. And also the blood will cool down the, the tissue. So, how aggressive do you want to be? Is this a good burn or not? What do you guys think? It's pretty good. You didn't, you didn't go through the heart. That's exactly. Tell me more. <laughs> that, that's all I know. What does it matter? <laughs> is, that a, is it good that you did not get to the other side or is it bad? It's good. It's good. It's good. Well... This is good if you want to build for more procedures, <laughs> because you will have to do another one and more billing, more, more money. Now, this is not good because the electricity can still go through. These cells are not dead. They can conduct. Ah, so you, you do guys. want to, mm -hmm, yeah, so you do want to cause a burn that goes all around. Wow. So now you have a good thick scar. The electricity cannot go through the scar. If you if you are a little too cautious, you get an incomplete burn, and you have conduction, and then it was a waste of time. The patient was exposed to this risk. There's a lot of risk. We'll talk about them in a second. With no benefit, because the vein can still send the signals into the heart. Um, so that that would have been a bad burn. Now, you want to do that burn. Now, that is an amazingly good burn. It just goes right <laughs> through the edge of the other side of the heart. So you're unlikely to hurt anything else. I wish would be, I would be this good. But I don't have the tools. Nobody has the tools to be this good. Most of us, when we do a burn, our burns are like this. Mm -hmm. We we go through and through and we burn things that are next to the heart and that's where complications happen other moment where complications happen is when you put the catheter and you put too much pressure on the heart and now you're poking a hole you're stretching the heart a little too much it's very thin it's a few millimeters deep 
So you could easily perforate the atria if you push too hard. So when we do an AFib ablation, we want to create a burn that is like this, but we almost always end up with that. So what are the structures that we damage when we do this? So this will be perfect. This is the usual. Mm -hmm. 